Hey guys, this is part um, six of my uh, PS2 collection. We're finally getting somewhere, at least, so, you know, this is worthwhile, I guess. Um, okay. First game is SOCOM 3 US Navy SEALs. And this is the only SOCOM I have, even though I used to have a friend who was really crazy about the series. Um, and I've never played it, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to, what it is about, but, um, they still make these? Because, I don't know, I haven't... Aside from that PSP one, I think, I don't remember ever seeing any more. Okay, got um, Space Channel 5, which is a great game, um, initially from Dreamcast. And this is the, well, I think this is only kind of came out with the uh, special edition um, two disc thing. And I love these games. Uh, pretty fun rhythm game. You know, real, I don't know, I consider it a real rhythm game, you know. Before not just like music as in your guitar heroes and rock bands, but rhythm, silly, goofy, weird Japanese stuff. It's pretty awesome. You know, I like it a lot. Um, it's pretty cheap, I assume, if you can find it now, so why not just like, I don't know, if you're into strange Japanese things, like, you know, that thing, that pink blob up there, then that's a good game. <laughs> okay. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Um, I have some- I have the first Splinter Cell, but it's not in PS2 form, so, whatever. Um, I'm really bad at being stealth. It's probably one of the things I'm worse at games, aside from escort missions, so... I'm really bad at this. I really like Splinter Cell in general, but I just... I can't... <laughs> I can't do it! Sucks. Okay. Star Trek Encounters! Um... I don't know. <laughs> it's... Kate. it's in the... Rap what the might translate? In a rapper still. I don't know. So I can't say anything about it. Um sorry. You know, Starship Enterprise, I don't know. It looks vaguely entertaining. Um might tide you over till the MMO comes out. Stuntman. Now this is pretty annoying of a game. Cause you have to do the same stuff. You're supposed to do stunts, and it's really hard at points once you get past the first few early levels. And it's it's annoying, and you do things over and over again. Somehow it's, it retains its fun factor. I just... You know, it's... You're trying to be a perfectionist, and this is probably one of the best games for you to get if you think you can be perfect on it, because you can't. It's so difficult, you have to play things like 20 times over. But, you know... It's an interesting game. They made a sequel. Um, that's probably gonna be the last one that they have. Just two. Now we have Tycho Drum Master. And this is pretty fun. It came with a, um, a Tycho drum. Not a real one, obviously, but just a plastic drum. And so, that's pretty fun. Free rock band, of course, and everything else. I suppose not free, uh, drum maniacs. Um, and it's another one of those music games, and they have some cute music. I think they had some popular popular American stuff in this version. But, um, oh look, they have, um, Dragon Ball Z theme. But anyway, it's, it's, you know, cute for what it is. And I like it a lot, but I'm a music game fan, so I like these silly types of things. Here's the drumsticks. Um, so yeah, it's probably not your type of game, but if it is, if you like these things, just like Space Channel 5, basically, then pick it up. It's not that expensive anymore. Probably even with the drum. Okay, Tekken 5. This is one of my favorite PS2 games. I I love the Tekken series, and this was like a really amazing version. Pre, you know, Dark Resurrection and all. This was really good. I beat it pretty, with everybody in Godless of Clothes and whatever. Um, it's not everyone's fighter. I mean, it's not... It's not Street Fighter, but it's, it is good, and I personally prefer it to, um, most other fighting games. My top favorites being inter interesting, such as, uh, Tekken and Soul Calibur and, uh, Guilty Gear. So, you know, but this is, I like it a lot. It's pretty fun, and it has, um, I didn't remember it had this, but it has some sort of bonus action mode called Tekken Devil Within, which they seem to have, um, 
taken for Tekken 6 to make the main story mode type thing. Which is awful, by the way. Awful. But, no, not the whole game, just that mode. But whatever, I guess. The thing. And this is by, or er, based off, <laughs> this is by John Carpenter. No, this is based off the John Carpenter film of the same name. If you couldn't tell by the box. No, I actually have the thing, like, right here in my room, but, oh well, I won't bring it over. Because I'm too lazy. Anyway. So it's based off the movie, and it's a pretty, I like, it's surprising that they made this, because, I don't know, it was just an 80s flick, right? 70s or something. And so it's like, why did they do this game? But it's pretty cool. It's not the best survival horror type game, but it's interesting, and I mean, if you like the movie, I assume it's a worthy purchase, just check it, or rent even, just check it out and see. It's pretty cool. Not the best, but, you know, they tried something. It's cool. So what, oh god, okay. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. I actually prefer the uh, Tony Hawk Underground series to this one, but this is what I have, so whatever. It's, you know, it's Tony Hawk, I really don't, there's nothing special to say about it. Um, I don't remember really. I never played this one all that much, but it apparently has no loading, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> and punk music and stuff. I don't know. Well, Tony Hawk. Oh, this is beautiful. This is Tony Hawk's Pro, Pro Skater 4. And my sister did this cover at some point in her life. And I think it's the best cover there's ever been for a Tony Hawk game. Um,. This is one was a lot of fun. Uh, the Pro Skater series in general is pretty neat. It's simple. It's you know it's nothing special. It's it, but I mean, it's an interesting. It's a good series for skateboarding. I don't know if there really were any other series for skateboarding aside from Tony Hawk. Um, I know there are now, but I mean, Tony Hawk was where it was at. Uh, Pro Skater three and four are pretty awesome. True Crime Streets of L.A. And I still need to get uh, Streets of New York. Uh, interesting game. It's it it like it seemed like it wanted to be Grand Theft Auto, but at the same time, it was different. But it managed to be better in those different respects. Still, it was interesting, and you know, it was not as open world. Obviously, nothing. You know, GTA was kind of the master of that. However, it's still a worthy game to check out because it did things differently, and what it did differently, it did well. Beautiful Joe, which I would have rather had on the GameCube, but I guess this is how I have it, so whatever. I think I have. Oh, never mind. I have Beautiful Joe here on the PS2 as well. Good, 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 good game. Interesting. Clover Studio. Who did uh, Okami and then got like destroyed and then came back or something? I don't really know. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty fun. Your little Joe guy is like superior type, and it's cute. Self shaded battles, awesome, good times. Beautiful Joe is good times. Beautiful Joe two, more of the same. Um, there's his girlfriend. It's yeah, basically more of the game because it did well originally so yes Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution or maybe it's Evolution Virtua Fighter 4 but this is um the like I don't know better version of Virtua Fighter 4 and um when it came out it was great but i mean now i mean after tekken 5 and the other fighting games that gen came out this sort of felt a little slow to me and then um uh, virtual fighter 5 sort of fixed it up so i don't know i guess because this was pretty early in the console's life cycle that it was it felt really slow or maybe that's just how the fighter is i don't really know i'm not a big virtual fighter fan unfortunately Win back without a cover, hey. This is, um, I only play it actually on uh, N64, 
And it was really awesome, I recall, back then. I remember thinking it was a lot of fun. It was kind of like the poor man's Metal Gear Solid, that's the best way I can really explain it. <laughs> it was interesting, and I liked it, and so I have to play this version sometime. Just see what's going on, because I haven't played it in a long time. And that's about it for now, so check out part 7 coming up soon.